out of gas. The car's engine sputtered and groaned. The needle on the fuel gauge had fallen to E almost an hour ago. Now it danced there, jumping with every bump in the road. Jade gripped the steering wheel so hard that her fingers hurt, but she couldn't let it go. She somehow felt, if she did, the car would finally roll to a dead stop. Come on, come on, Jade whispered to it. Just a few more miles. The car hit a rock and shimmied under her. Then the engine died. The white stripes separating the lanes on the lonely highway began moving slower and slower. Only darkness stood beyond the headlights. There wasn't even moonlight. Jade winced. Oh no, please. She could hear her mother's scolding voice echoing through the night. How can you buy a used car at an auction? Why are you driving all night for some concert? Can't you take someone with you? And why didn't you stop at that gas station you passed an hour ago, Jade finished for her aloud. Because that place was charging 50 cents extra a gallon. She guessed she would have paid if she'd known it was the last station for 80 miles. Just please don't stop, she told the car. It didn't. Jade guessed she must have been going downhill somehow, rolling enough to keep it moving at a crawl. She slowly popped the transmission into neutral, and the car sped up a little. It wasn't much faster than a walking pace, but the car kept going. Jade didn't know how far it went, but finally a set of lights appeared on the horizon with a gas station billboards had been promising all night. Just as the hood of the car rolled into the penumbra out of the night, it stopped. Jade had to put on the brake to keep from rolling back. The attendant came back and helped her push it to the pump. While Jade dug out her credit card, he took off his hat and slapped his forehead. Holy cow, I know this car. It's Ruthie Jensen's. She got out of the car. The name sounded familiar. Where had she heard? The auctioneer had said, Ruth Jensen. By law, I have to tell you that this car was part of a crime scene. There was more, but Jade only cared about the great deal she was getting. Jade asked, who was she? The attendant rubbed his forehead with the rag from his back pocket, clearing up the greasy smudge he'd left. She was a nice girl. Shame what happened. Somebody stops while you're changing a tire in the middle of the night like they're going to help you, and then they do that? Shouldn't happen to anybody, let alone her. Jade shivered so hard she dropped her card. Left the body in the trunk for, gee, I don't even know how long until the police came to tow it and found her there. 